we're going to be making a California chicken burrito. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? We have a great show for you coming up. Uh, it is, uh, I'm live in my kitchen. You can see some little things going on differently, so bear with us. I'm not sure if any of this is gonna work. Today we're gonna be making a California chicken burrito. Now there's a little discussion about this because some people think that, well, I mean, California burritos for us is always French fries, sour cream, cheese, and carne asada. California burrito style, so we're gonna try what I have going on. Chicken, provolone, uh, I got some onions, grilled onions that I grilled up this morning uh, with some garlic in there. Uh, I'm going to use some salsa for my pico and some sour cream. Oh. I made chicken this morning and what I did is I overnighted it, uh, I marinated it. And I came up with such a crazy recipe. I put in olive oil, I put soy sauce, I put garlic, minced garlic, not regular garlic, minced garlic, brown sugar, uh, and some sriracha. And oh my god. I have to really I'm bragging about this chicken. I mean it just So that's it right there. That chicken is the bomb. Uh, it's It's so caramelized and it's just so good the moment. All right, there we go So what you do We're gonna take a little bit of this chicken, right? And we're gonna cut this up. Oh look at that. It's so juicy So juicy and it almost just shreds That's what you want. You want it to shred I'd say that looks like a pretty good burrito. So first of all, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna come back here, give it a shot. It's gonna be a little funky, a little digitalized, but that's just what we're dealing with. Um, I'm gonna throw this stuff on here and get this stuff going here. Turn that up. Hello everyone, Mike. It's nice <laughs> to see you again on TV. I do yep. have to say somebody did notice you are not wearing shoes and you're not wearing black. No shoes. I'm not wearing black. See, I'm wearing blue. And there's a reason for that, but I can't tell you. Uh, but uh, I I'm trying to be a little bit more, I don't know, happy. I don't know. Blue makes me a little bit more happier. I don't know. This is the Charlie, uh, what is it, the, from the... Was it two men or two guys and a baby or whatever that was? That's a baby. It's a baby. Of course it's a baby. It's your baby. No, it's not my baby. Uh, and uh, Charlie Sheen shirt. You said you'd help me. I was thinking more like I could make you a sandwich. Oh, Charlie! Hey, 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 I am not I reaching. The beach, I figure what the hell. All right, now I just bought it for the show. Oh, thank you there. Appreciate that. See, that's what I need need to happen. So right now I have the pepper or the onions and the garlic all up and running. And uh, we're just going to get this a little bit hot and we're going to add the chicken uh, and then add the cheese and melt that all down. God, this chicken, I, I can't even explain to you how well, I, I've never made something so good in my life, really. It's so good. It's moist. I think it's the brown sugar. I gave up candy and sweets. And I try to incorporate a little bit of sweet into all my food so I get that, you know, that fix, but I don't know. So, Mike, I have a question. Okay. Um, so someone wanted to know how long you marinated the chicken for. Uh, overnight, 11 hours, somewhere around there. Um, and the soy sauce, I used, yeah, I said soy sauce, garlic, uh, oh, some lime, some sriracha, some brown sugar, and I, you know, I didn't measure anything, of course. I don't measure anything. I just threw a whole bunch of stuff in a bag and let it cook and, you know, put it in the refrigerator. It came out pretty well. Um, it came out pretty well, actually. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and actually put the chicken in now. And we're gonna get that thing going. It's looking good. This is, this is where it's at. Uh, so you don't really need to cook this very long. Just want to get this all nice and flavored up. I'm just going to throw the cheese on there. 
I'm going to use two and a half pieces of cheese. Could use three, but now you just really want that to melt. Mike, okay, so yeah. what kind of tortillas are those? Uh, those are actually some uh, mission tortillas, and they're the ones that you always see in a store. I do recommend going to Sprouts, uh, and they actually have like the bigger tortillas where you could actually really make a burrito. Um, because I just don't think this is going to be big enough for this burrito. Um, if you noticed in one of my last videos that I made the burrito, <laughs> it was actually really uh, small and pungy looking thing because I actually curled it in too much. I did make a second burrito after that for someone and it was actually longer. So you kind of want a longer, thinner burrito. You don't want it to like small. You just don't want it. Uh, so now if you want to switch over to that range cam, you can see this chin. You can't really see it. You see a little blob on the TV, I'm sure. Uh, but you know. So what you want to do with your tortilla, you want to make sure, I do have it going on my plate over here. I do have another plate right underneath there. Just want to get that heated up so it actually, I, I honestly don't know if this is going to work because these tortillas are so damn small. They said burrito size and I just grabbed it. I do have some french fries over here that I already pre-made. These fries are uh, from Arida. And I just, you know, heated them up. Whatever. I'm definitely not gonna put all that in there. Hopefully my neighbors, said they might come over and have a burrito, so I'll have some extra food. And that's what all this is all about, sharing is caring. And do we have any bets that I could fold this thing? That's that's the question right now, right? We're all wondering, can Mike pull this off? I don't know if I can, honestly. I don't know. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some of this, use another spoon. Just to make more of a mess. And that's what's fun, you know. I had a really good time up there visiting Ryan and Joy because they have a dishwasher and you know, that was fun, you know, it was really awesome. It was easy to do dishes. It's so nice when you have a kitchen that actually functions. This kitchen does not function at all. It's like even dish, dish, dish. Uh, so a little bit of sour cream. This is gonna be interesting. I really think I made too much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just slow it down a little bit. The other thing I need is this oven matter. I'm gonna burn the shit out of my hand. Slow it down. All right. Mike, there's Hold a on. question. Yes. Why no hot right. peppers? You know, I thought about that. I thought about putting some serrano peppers in here, uh, and I should have, uh, but what I'm going to do is add a little bit of hot sauce for the flavoring of the hot. So that looks actually pretty. I might be able to fit this all in there, I think. I don't know. I think that's going to be it. I'm going to use my favorite, and I'm going to use green. I'm going to use some green Cholula sauce. I love this stuff. Uh, and we're just going to add a little bit of that. And uh, what else I use? I grab another spoon. Oh, let's grab another dish. Because I woke up to do dishes, and I'll go to bed doing dishes. Just a little bit of this, and this is some really good salsa. I, I don't care, it's, you know, corporate, but paste salsa, oh my God, it's so good. Especially the medium chunky. I don't get the hot just too much. I use that for a little bit of pico. Oh, however you want, you know, it's just how your taste. I mean, I, I think an avocado probably would have been delicious in here, but I actually would have had to run out and get an avocado and did not want to do that. So. What I'm gonna do is just throw a little bit of some Cholula on here and add, add a nice little spice, little green, little red. I know Ryan out there, you know, he doesn't like green sauce, but I'm like, who doesn't like green sauce, right? Throw a little bit of French fries in there. And you wanna spread these out. You don't really want them like all kind of like right on top of each other. So here we go. This is the moment trip. Anybody, have any bets that I could roll this thing because I, I didn't I'm kind of losing confidence here um, it's gonna be hard no oh, look at french fries flying out and everything yeah. not too too bad boom use another freaking plate Put that about right there and we'll cut about and there you go there you 
lights get a rail up in there and yeah. get close. I don't know how close So the consensus is, Mike, that you did a good job rolling it. That came out okay. I mean, I could have probably put more chicken in it. I think I, I could have probably fit a lot more into that burrito, but I don't know. So the moment of truth. Now this chicken, like I said, by itself would just be stupid. Stupid good. I mean, I, I've never made chicken that good in my life, honestly. Here we go. It's almost spiritual. I have to say, it is so good. <laughs> with the with the provolone, a little bit of sour cream, the two different salsas, I mean pico if you say it is, the garlic, the onions, oh my god. I don't even know if you need the fries in there, but you know, give you that little bit of a crunchiness. Wow. Should try to sell that one. You can find me at MB Ferrari on Instagram. I'm always trying to promote some things that are trying to find some friends for Twitch. Uh, if you ever want to try to jump in and join with the conversation, you just got to go to twitch.com. Uh, and actually sign up. I know a lot of my friends don't want to sign up because like, oh, it's just another social media platform. But you could help me out by actually hitting that follow button and actually becoming my friend on there. And it gets me a little bit closer to the path of being an affiliate. This burrito is so good. You guys are just missing out. And like, making chicken like that is just insane. Well, I think it worked out. And I hope the show was pretty entertaining for you guys. Highly recommend. If you want any of my recipes, Feel free to DM me uh, on Instagram, MB Ferrari, uh, on Facebook. Um, hell, I even give you my phone number on there. You can call me and, and we can talk about how I made this chicken because this chicken should be made all the time, hands down. Cooked it slow for uh, on the grill outside for at 200 degrees for about an hour. Um, just cooked it slow. You know, I just wanted the juices to stay in there and so good, so good. All right, well, that's pretty much it for my show today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be safe. That's all I could say. Be smart. Social distance. Wear your mask when you're out in public. We all get to go out and party sometime here in the near future. But if we don't do our part now, we're not going to get to that other part later. So good night. Good day. See ya.